Calif students, we come to the numericals of thermodynamics and some of the MCQs I'm discussing in this video. The first question, as you see on the screen is, for the combustion of carbon monoxide, QP minus QB is equal to what? For the combustion of carbon monoxide, QP minus QB is equal to question mark. This is what we are supposed to find. Four options given to us are, is it T minus calorie or minus T by two calorie or T calorie or T by two calorie. These are the options. Now, let us see how to crack this numerical. We know that QP minus QV is equal to delta NG RT. Since it is combustion of carbon monoxide, I'm writing that equation. Combustion of carbon monoxide gas plus half O2, which is also gaseous, gives us carbon dioxide gaseous and hence delta ng which is moles of gaseous products minus moles of gaseous reactants will come out as one that is this one mole of carbon dioxide gas in the product minus one plus one by two gas that is this one plus one by two that becomes three by two which comes out to be minus one by two, that is delta NG. This I am substituting in this equation. And so I'm getting QP minus QV equal to minus half RT. Since all the options you see are in calorie, I'm substituting the value of R in calorie, that is two calorie into T temperature is not given. This gets cancelled. So we get QP minus QV is equal to T negative. That is the answer. A option is the answer. I hope this is clear to everyone. Now we move to the next question. Calculate the total heat required. Total heat required to melt 180 gram of ice at zero degrees and then heat it 200 degrees and then vaporize it further. So there are three processes which we are doing. Let us see what's the meaning of the question. It says take H2O solid that is ice and melt it we need to melt it which is nothing but fusion and melting it is at zero degrees only and hence h2o it's melting and say this is delta h fusion we are melting ice and then it says heat it to 100 degrees and convert it to liquid. So we are heating it to 100 degree and converting it to liquid. This is also melting liquid state and here also at 100 degree we are maintaining it to liquid and then it says Continue heating it at that temperature, obviously, and we're trying to vaporize it. You know, boiling point of water is 100 degree, and this is delta H vaporization, where it will become H2O gas. And this is delta H So we call it delta H2, we call it delta H1, and we call it delta H3. 
these are the three processes which are going on so our final change in enthalpy will be sum of delta h 1 that is the fusion plus delta h 2 plus delta h 3 which is vaporization Now, the very first thing, it is 180 gram of water. So, moles of water I'm calculating here, it will be 180 upon molar mass of water, that is 18. So, moles of water is coming out to be 10 mole. Now, you know, enthalpy of fusion is 6.01 kilojoule per mole. So for 10 mole, I'm substituting here 10 into 6.01 plus. Delta H2 is heating it continuously at 100 degree and here we can give delta H by MC theta. We are heating the melted ice which is you know since it's zero degree partially it will be ice form and little be converting into liquid form and then by heating it at 100 suddenly the temperature will not move to 100 but slowly steadily it is moving to 100 and we have converted entire ice to water so we are calculating that change in enthalpy as mc theta since mass is 180 and c is 4.18 joule since these values are in kilojoule all of them so i'm converting this to kilojoule into 10 raised to minus 3 kilojoule into theta that is 100 and 0 degrees difference t1 and t2 so that is 100 so this becomes 180 into 4.18 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 100 plus again for one mole vaporization enthalpy is 40.7 so for 10 mole it will be 10 into 40.7 and when you solve this entire you'll be getting the answer as 542.3 kilojoule. So delta H finally comes out to be 542.3 kilojoule. We've already done this in class, but since some of the students asked me this as the doubt, I've just resolved it in this video. It'll help you, you know, whenever you are having doubt in this question, you can just come to this video of mine and you can you know take it as a good revision which will be of great help to you now next that comes is question number three which you can see question three heat of formation of benzene and carbon dioxide heat of formation of benzene benzene carbon dioxide in water molecule are 45 kilojoule, 394 kilojoule evolved and 286 kilojoule evolved. So they say, what is the heat of combustion of benzene? So very first thing I have to do is, the desired equation is, the desired equation is for enthalpy of combustion of benzene so let me just write combustion of benzene first and then we'll solve it so the combustion of benzene can be written as c6h6 we know benzene is a liquid plus o2 gas and since there are six carbon i'll be getting six co2 gas and since there is there are six hydrogen atoms i'm getting three h2o liquid now 6 to 12 plus 315 oxygen here so here i'm taking 15 by 2. this is the equation for combustion of benzene 
Now, since all the molecules formation is given, hence I can use the formula to find combustion of benzene as a summation enthalpy of products minus summation enthalpy of reactants. Now, to substitute delta H is equal to six times the enthalpy for carbon dioxide plus three times the enthalpy for water molecule and minus enthalpy of formation of benzene plus enthalpy of formation of O2 is 15 by 2. Now we know enthalpy, the enthalpy change for elements is zero, so this becomes zero. And I substitute the remaining, we get delta H is equal to six into carbon dioxide is 394 evolved plus three into 286 evolved minus, this is 45 absorbed, so delta H is equal to, we can, you can just do the calculation and I think you can write the answer finally. I don't think you need my help. It will be most, it, it is, it is, I think three, two, six, seven kilojoule evolved. Just check the calculations once this Bombay. Now the next question. Heat of formation of acetylene is X joule formation. That is enthalpy of formation of acetylene C2H2 is uh, X joule per mole. So I'm just writing formation of acetylene C2H2 which will be C2H2 gas, which is obtained from carbon plus hydrogen gas, carbon solid, obviously two years, so C2H2. Next, they've given enthalpy of formation of ethylene, which is C2H4, and that's given as Y joule per mole. So ethylene I'm forming, C2H4 gaseous, which I can obtain from two carbon solid and two H2 gas. Now, this is given. Now the desired is heat of hydrogenation of ethylene, whereas formations are given. Okay, so I write the desired equation. I'm just making the desired equation. You can also think, and you can make it before me. That'll be so great. Desired, hydrogenation of Ethylene, hydrogenation. Ethylene is C2H4. I'm going to hydrogenate it. So, heat of hydrogenation of what is the heat of hydrogenation of ethylene? So, we add H2. So, we will be getting heat of hydrogenation of ethylene. Let me just check the question. No, it is acetylene because if we, ha if we hydrogenate ethylene, obviously. It will become ethane, and ethane is not given anywhere in the option. So, so nice. We just change it. Give me a minute. Yeah. So, this is heat of hydrogenation of acetylene. So, um, this is C2H2. So, C2H2, just a minute. Yeah. So C2H2 plus hydrogen will give us C2H4. This is the desired gaseous. This is also gaseous, this is also gaseous. Now, what is the first thing you want, children? C2H2, which you are getting from equation one. Say this is one, this is one, and say this is equation two. We've just numbered them. So C2H2 is in equation one, but as you see in equation one, it is on the right side, although it is just one mole, but you want it on the left side. So when you're finding final enthalpy, obviously you have to revert one because they are on the opposite sides. Plus, the second thing you want is H2, which is in both the equations. I said, whatever you find in two equations, just neglect it. 
H2 आपको दो इक्वेशन में दिख रहा है जो भी एक से ज्यादा इक्वेशन में दिखेगा उसको निग्लेक्ट कर देना है तो मैंने इसे निग्लेक्ट कर दिया है फिलहाल लास्ट थिंग जो मुझे चाहिए दैट इज सी टू एच फोर विच इज इन सेकेंड इक्वेशन I want one mole and I am provided also with one mole, so no need to multiply the enthalpy with anything. And I want it on right side, and I am given it on the right side. So, as it is, who the second value as it is. So delta H of the final answer will be revert one. Now one is x joule, so when you revert, it becomes x negative plus. Second equation is y joule, and since you have to take it as it is, it is plus y. So delta H final becomes y minus x joule per mole. So y minus x joule per mole. That is option D. So I hope this is clear to everyone. So these are the four numericals I discussed today in uh, numericals of thermodynamics. keep watching the videos and you you'll be provided with fantastic questions and numericals and multiple choice questions every now and then okay bye bye love and blessings to all of you take care